Back home now, conflict between income support staff and management. A full-scale strike meant PSA members were out protesting today. The Invercargill office was closed today, a decision made by management. Staff want a salary increase. It's been six years since the last one, and some staff say they get paid less than their clients. Deborah Webb with this story. Time for action. 60 members of the PSA employed by Income Support were off the job today and the Invercargill office was closed. They were part of a full-scale strike. They've waited six years for a pay increase. It's finally happening, but it's nowhere near the 12% they want. I feel that the members have had enough. Um, six years is a hell of a long time not to have a pay increase. Um, the offer that we've been offered is 2% and um, yeah, I mean to me and to the members it's not good enough. We're just basically annoyed, I mean as Marie said, enough's enough. Um, we've put up with this for six years, we've, we've done our part of the bargaining, we've, we've stayed at work, we've done everything we're supposed to have done, our jobs got more complex and, 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 and what do they do? Nothing. There's some of us here that actually um, aren't on the average uh, weekly wage at this stage anyway. Well, to us at the moment, there's a lot of our people that are actually getting less money than, our, than some of our beneficiaries, which isn't really the, the, the cause of our fight, but to some of us it's become a morale thing. The PSA agrees that it's necessary action. I think this is a reasonable course of action for a group of workers who are extremely frustrated by the, the lack of good faith from their employer. They're prepared to support the staff. Well, you can hear from the background, the public have generally been supportive. Um, staff regret that they've had to put their um, people who are in need at, at risk like this, but they feel that the long-term effects of um, not taking this action are going to be even more detrimental to the people that they serve. National Income Support Management won't talk until the industrial action's over. They say that until then, there'll be no new negotiations. But it won't affect beneficiaries. They'll still get their money. And for staff at Income Support, they're prepared to wait. This is Deborah Webb for Mercury News. And the Southland Beneficiaries and Community Rights Centre has offered its full support to the staff of the Income Support Service.